Hello, this is Sylvia Berry with More Public Schools, and today we're going to be talking about having an add-on for your Microsoft Outlook. It's called Find Time. If you get an email and you open it up and it's inviting you to a meeting, chances are they've used the app Find Time. Click on the Select Options button. Confirm your name in the list and then select your preferred times. Once a meeting is set, the times and dates are automatically put into your Outlook calendar where you can then accept, decline, or propose other times. There are several different ways to get Find Time. One way is to click on the Office Store app and then if you just type in Find Time, it'll take you straight to a list and you want the Find Time add-in. Follow on-screen instructions for adding it. You may be prompted to log into your Office 365 account. If you are, log in and open your Outlook. Then you'll click on the cog in the upper right corner and go to Options and Manage Add-ins. Once you've been prompted to confirm that you wanted this add-in installed, it will install and then you'll need to click OK to start using it. Another way to install Find Time is to go directly to the web page. The URL is findtime.microsoft.com. Then you'll just follow on-screen instructions. Once Find Time app has been added to your Microsoft Office 2013, open a new email and address it to the attendees that you'd like to have come to your meeting. On the to line, these are the required, and on the copy are the people that are optional for coming to your meeting. Make sure you put a subject in there, it's best practices that you don't send an email out with no subject on it. This is where you can put a message in. Then you can go up to your ribbon to Apps for Office, click there, shows you the apps that you've got associated with your Microsoft Office suite. And we've got Find Time. You can either select it and use the Start button or you can double click on it. Either one will open it. And then you'll notice that you do have a screen open on the right hand side where you need to make some selections. Yeah, I'm going to say we'll probably need to have it about at least an hour. Whether or not it's during the day and the work hours, and of course your time zones. Right now we're in central time. I'm going to actually have the meeting for next week, on March the 1st. And if you've got any meetings already scheduled in your calendar, then uh, it will block those times out for you to where it says I'm busy on those particular meetings. But then I've got my other required here. And then I do have for the non-required here. Now this already tells me that Sarah is busy in the morning. Hmm. And in fact, she's busy pretty much so all morning. I'm busy in the afternoon but these center times are available so I'm going to go ahead and see if we can't go ahead and do this right after lunch and schedule it either starting at 1, 1 1.32 or 2.30. And if you click next it shows the times that I've selected. You can also put your location in this my office, and then you can insert into your email. And then it, you can edit options here, notifications, and as it tells you, it sends you an email and they vote. Then you've also got auto schedule, which where it will put it in everyone's calendar. And then you've got holds. 
and we're going to send that off. Once you've sent that, you'll get a confirmation email back from Find Time confirming that you're the one that sent it. Also, you can check your updates on whether or not people have voted for times on this particular meeting, or if you have tried to contact several groups for several different meetings, you see all of the list here. Once everyone has voted, you will receive a notice back that your meeting has been finalized. And this was a finalization of a meeting that I had done earlier in the week. On Tuesday, February the 23rd, we finalized it for 8.30 a.m. The system did it and it will go ahead and put it in the calendar. If you want to review the voting, all you have to do is click on that one. And then it tells you right here that Brandon could come at 8.30 or at 10 o'clock, but could not do 10.30 or 11 o'clock. And that's how you use Find Time Add-in for Microsoft. This has been Sylvia Berry from More Public Schools.